I think for me, um, being a part of a small group has really enabled me to kind of be a part of uh, experiences like the New Testament church. I think people really serving each other and that has um, been something to me that's meant a lot, just the practical ways that we pray for each other and serve each other. And Well, I think that um, small groups for me have been a great place where I encountered the truth of God applied to daily living. I think when we came to North, we came from a church that really emphasized small groups a lot and um, was pretty much a non-negotiable. And um, we came looking for a church that really wanted um, to emphasize small groups to their members. And so we were really excited to come to North and find a church that um, encouraged that and really saw that ministry as very important uh, because we've really seen the benefits of being involved in that kind of um, just way of encouraging members to be a part of each other's lives and, and encourage spiritual growth in that way. I think small groups were a foundational part of what we were looking for in a church. We wanted a church that not only had good preaching on Sunday where there was a pastor who was committed to, the, to God's Word, but there was also a body of believers who were coming together on a regular basis outside of the church building and were willing to really you know, encourage one another, to confront one another, to use scripture when doing it, to be applying the message they heard on Sunday to their everyday life and really living it out on a regular basis. Small group for me has been the most important factor in my life since becoming a Christian. Since we've been a part of a small group, I've seen spiritual growth both in myself and in my marriage that uh, we, we haven't seen before and wouldn't have happened otherwise. Um, I'm really social and Eric's really not social. Um, I'm not, I'm not really the most social guy. I don't really interact well with real with a good close group of guys. So he was, I was like, come on, this will be really fun. We can get to know people, you know, it'll be fun. We can get to know other couples. And he was like, no, no, I don't like new people. I don't, you know, they're gonna be church people. They're gonna be weird <laughs> and all this other stuff. He's like, I'm not really in all this touchy feely, you know, groupy stuff. I started off small groups. My fiance is like, yeah, we should do this. And I'm like, eh, I was a little hesitant at first. And the first time we went and then he came back and he's like, oh, that wasn't so bad. See, I told you. <laughs> so we ended up going and I met uh, Brad and Brian, everybody just, I mean, they've been an awesome group of brothers for me. It has been so good for him because um, he got saved late um, freshman year of college. So it's been so awesome to see how Glenn and Brian and Luke and Chris, how they've just really like grouped around him and he's just grown into such a godly guy. My spiritual life has flourished since I started coming here and just just talking through the struggles that other guys have had and realizing I'm not the only one that <laughs> struggles through some of the, the, the basic things guys go through. Um, the guys get together for breakfast at 6 o'clock in the morning on Wednesdays or Thursdays and they pray and I mean this is secret guy world so I'm not really included with it but um, they do, they pray and they study the Bible and the accountability that um, Eric has with the guys is just, he tells me all the time how he loves it and he's so thankful for the relationships that he has with the guys. I don't know, it's kind of like when you're not eating the right kind of food and your body just doesn't feel right and you don't really know what's wrong but then you start eating healthy again and then all of a sudden you feel healthier. That's what it was kind of like for me when I got here for the very first time. It's just like, oh, you know, this is what I've been missing. Um, I would say small group, for my spiritual growth, the biggest thing about it has been the accountability aspect of it, coming into Rochester, not knowing anyone, not having anything, having this built-in group that we hooked up with the second week we were here, having that and being able to have these guys that, like, are you praying? Are you spending time in the Word? How can I pray for you? That's the biggest part for small group. We'll be moving sometime soon, because Glenn starts classes June 8th, and... <sighs> I think small group is one of the biggest things we're going to miss in our new church and that's one thing I'm really longing for in our new church because it's just been so instrumental in our lives and our spiritual growth and having those people being surrogate family to us is something that is just incredibly vital to us. So.